In this video, I'm going to show you how to access different elements in an array and, or in other words, direct offset operands. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we have an array which is type byte or it can be any other type and it has four elements in it, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So. What I'm going to do with this array is I'm going to display each one of the elements. I'm not going to display all of the elements. I'm going to display two of the elements, 10 and 12. So the first element of the array can easily be accessed by the name of the array. So move AL, which is the byte of uh, ED, EAX, and move AL to array. So the first one is the destination and the second one is the source. Oops. Okay, so this way we just access the first element of the array. And in order to display it, we can call write a string in it, write, write deck on it, and we can display the value. But before that, we want to make sure that EAX doesn't have any other value in it. So move EAX 0. This way we make sure that EAX is empty. And then I'm going to put in a space here called CRLF. And my next step is to move AL. Okay, this is the part that is important. You put brackets around it, array, and you can do, you have two options. You can either say plus one, then you're going to access element number two, or element, if you're counting from zero, element number one, which is 11, but we don't want 11, we want 12, so I can do two. If I say type byte, that will give me the next element, which is number 11. You have to multiply type byte by 2, and then you're going to get the um, second element, or if you are indexing from 1, the uh, third element, which is number uh, 12. So now I'm going to say write deck again. And now we have to get 10 and 12. Okay, I forgot to put the E for right deck. I'm going to build it again. And start without debugging. And we get 10 and 12. 